Hey amigos, you're listening to English Made Simple. This is episode number 66, numero 66. Awesome! Welcome, amigos! Welcome! My name is Milena from EnglishMadeSimple.net EnglishMadeSimple.net How is it? How was your Christmas break? Hope you had a good one! This is the best time to relax and to take it easy and uh, enjoy the company of friends and family. Hope you had fun, uh, hope you had a great time. So, in the last episode, the short and sweet episode number 65, I mentioned this special flavor of ice cream, helado, called toasted flour, harina tostada. Actually, I was looking for it in Australia, but I couldn't find it. Damn it! I was hooked on it in Chile. <laughs> hey, before we begin, I'd like to send a special hello to another raving fan of English Made Simple. Greetings to Joao from Brazil. Thank you so much for your nice comments, uh, Joao. Thanks heaps. Or um, how do you say it in Portuguese? Muito obrigado. Oh, and uh, my favorite cocktail is caipirinha. This cocktail is slowly becoming popular in Australia again. It's hard to find as well. Dios mio. My goodness. So let's continue with today's episode, guys. Many of my students get confused about the word wish. When do we use this word in English? Some of my students get confused whether to use want or wish when making requests. So in this episode, I'd like to try and simplify this as much as possible. Uh, let's start off with an easy explanation first. The first thing you need to know about the word wish is that it can be both a noun and a verb. It is also a synonym of the word want. By the way, both want and wish are regular verbs. The past tense of want is wanted and the past tense of wish is wished. That's how we pronounce the past tense of want. Wanted and wish. Wished in the past. The participle is the same. Radio. So, the most common phrase you will hear with these two words is something like I wish to do something and I want to do something. Both I wish to and I want to can mean the same thing. For example, I want to make a formal complaint. I wish to make a formal complaint. Me gustaría hacer una queja formal. That's in Spanish. I wish to make a formal complaint. Another example. He wants to speak with a manager. I'm going to use a third person. He wants to speak with a manager. He wishes to speak with a manager. He wishes to speak with the manager. Le gustaría hablar con el jefe. That's what it means in Spanish. So using wish to instead of want to is uh, more formal. It's mostly used in formal English. However, most of the time with friends, when you're with friends, um, we would say I want to. Let's consider the following example. I want to speak with your manager or I wish to speak with your manager. I wish to speak with your manager is more formal and more polite to say. It will be a bit unusual to say, uh, to use this phrase with your friends. Uh, for example, I wish to speak with you. You know, if you're with your friends, uh, I wish to speak with you, Alicia. I wish to speak with you, Carolina. Um, it implies some kind of authority or Alicia or Carolina may be in trouble. You know, I wish to speak with you. I'm not happy about something. Most of the time with friends, we would say, um, I want to speak with you or I would like to speak with you. Cool. Okie dokie. So let's continue. We can use wish together with a noun and to offer good wishes uh, to someone. 
uh, like for example, obviously, I wish you a Merry Christmas or I wish you all the best for your English exams. I wish you all the best for your English exams. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas, the most uh, commonly used phrase nowadays. I should also mention that wish is a countable noun. So in plural, it becomes wishes. We can have many wishes. Mm -hmm. Usually in fairy tales, uh, cuentos uh, de hadas, fairy tales, there is either a genie in a bottle or some kind of a magical creature that can grant you a wish. To grant a wish is to make it true, to make your wish come true, to make your wish a reality. For example, a genie, if you're reading a, a, a fairy tale, a genie would normally say, I will grant you three wishes. State your three wishes, I will grant you three wishes. Awesome! Easy peasy! Now listen up carefully, amigos. The main use of the word wish is to express a strong desire for something that is impossible or very unlikely to happen. Hypothetically speaking, people normally wish for their situation to be different from their current one, to be different from status quo. That's what I mean. We use it when we want to talk about unreal or hypothetical things, when there is no hope, just wishful thinking. I will explain later what wishful thinking is. But let me first explain what I mean by using the word wish to express a strong desire for something that is unlikely to happen. I will give you an example, a couple of simple examples, or more than a couple because I can't count, obviously. Here is the first example. I am fat. I wish I was thin. Estoy un poco gordita, desearía estar delgada. I wish I was thin. Uh, next example. She is poor. She wishes she was a millionaire. Ella es pobre. Ella desearía ser millonaria. She wishes she was a millionaire. Or the last example. I ate too much food during Christmas holidays. I wish I hadn't eaten so much. I wish I had not eaten so much. Me hubiese gustado no comer tanto. I wish I hadn't eaten so much. As you can see from these examples, we use wish to express regrets about the current situation, the situation in the present. However, we often use it together with verbs in either the past tense or past perfect tense. I wish I was happy. I wish I was rich. If you have been uh, studying English for a while, you have probably learned um, you have probably learned expressions such as "I wish I was" or "I wish I were," or you must have heard them before. So, when constructing these hypothetical sentences, we can either use "I wish I was" or "I wish I were." Was and were, as you can see, are in the past tense. But we start off the sentence in the present. I wish is the present tense. I wish I was. I wish I were. So that's how we would construct a sentence that help us express a strong desire for something that is impossible or very unlikely to happen. Also, an important thing to note is that in formal English, we would use I wish I were, okay? For example, I wish I were rich. I wish I were rich. I wish it were Sunday today. I wish it weren't raining today. He wishes he were taller, okay? It is uh, common to hear native speakers say I wish I was taller, I wish I was skinnier. You will hear that version more often than I wish I were taller or I wish I were skinnier. The native speakers are not following the rules of grammar. 
and it's a more colloquial expression, if you will. So when speaking with native speakers, you can use I wish I was. It's quite acceptable. I wish I was taller. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a bowler. I wish I was a little bit taller. So I think that's how the song goes. Uh, if you're into 90s music, 90s rap music, I think the song is called I Wish I Was a Little Bit Taller. Anyway, getting myself distracted. Okay, guys. So that you can use with your friends. But if you have exams or um, if you want to speak more formally, please use I wish I were and not I wish I was, okay? When you're doing exams, uh, they probably want you to be more formal when doing exams. So use the proper way. I wish I were something. So another way to use wish is together with could and would. These are modal verbs, but could is also past tense of the verb can. Can. Would is a modal verb of the future tense will. I will give you a couple of examples uh, when we would need to use these two verbs. But before I do that, uh, you can learn more about modal verbs in episodes number 30 called May versus Might versus Could and episode number 36, How to Ask Questions Politely. If you're new to this show, I suggest you go back and listen to those um, two episodes, number 30 and number 36. So now back to the examples of using wish uh, together with could and would. I wish I could speak French or I wish I could speak Portuguese. This just means that I wish I could speak the language, but unfortunately I cannot. Currently I'm not able to speak either of these languages, but I wish I could. Uh, second example, John, a third person, John, wishes he could come to the party. John wishes he could come to the party. It means he would like to come, but he is not able to for whatever reason. John wishes he could come to the party. So that was uh, using wish together with could. But uh, using would with wish is a little bit special when it comes to using it in a sentence. We use it when we want other people to do something so that they can change. Most of the time, we want uh, that other person to change their behavior. Okay, that's when we would use the word, when we would combine wish and would in a sentence. For example, I wish that Marcelo wouldn't eat all the chips. I know Marcelo loves chips, but I don't like it when he eats all the chips. I want him to change his behavior. I want him to change his habit. I wish that Marcelo wouldn't eat all the chips. Uh, another simple example. I wish that you would stop making so much noise. I wish that you would stop making so much noise. I can't hear myself think. Stop making so much noise. We also use it when we talk about weather. I wish that it would stop raining today. I wish that it would stop raining today. And there we go, guys. Easy peasy Japanesey. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Hopefully you're not too confused. Um, if it helps, I suggest you listen to this episode again. If you have any questions, please do send me a message. So just before we finish today's episode, guys, I used a term earlier in this episode, a phrase called wishful thinking. Wishful thinking is hoping that something will happen, even though we are not certain that it will happen. It's like, uh, let me think in, uh, in Spanish, what did we be like in Spanish? Um, es como creer que algo es verdad porque tú lo deseas intensamente. Y tú quieres que eso suceda. Basically, for non-Spanish speakers, you wish for something to happen. A wishful thinking. What I would like to do next week or sometime soon is compare two words, two verbs, to hope and to wish. 
Is there a difference between these two? I think there is. Uh, and also, have you heard of the expression, what if? What if something happened? Yeah, what if? I also want to teach you about that. So that's it, amigos. So wow, we learned so much today. Awesome. I hope you learned a lot today. Just to let you know, transcription to this episode will be available soon. You can find it on my website, EnglishMadeSimple.net. Give it a couple of days. It is coming soon. Before we finish, let me ask you this question. If you came across a genie in a bottle and this genie promised to grant you three wishes, what would your three wishes be? What would you wish for? You have three wishes. What would they be? <laughs> Think about that. Guys, I wish you a prosperous and successful 2017. Uh, we will be in touch before that, I'm sure. Uh, we've got two more episodes before the end of the year anyway. So, until next time, guys. Hasta la próxima. Hasta la próxima.